Good afternoon, everyone. I should say good evening. I nearly didn't do a video today because I'm running super duper late. So, um, but you know, I was missing you guys and I thought I'd better do a video. We might just revisit. That's my glue thing. We, look at the mess. This is, I mean, you should see the mess. I, 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 what I did was I, um, well, I made journals. I haven't done anything in here. I made journals, um, and <laughs> you ladies are fast. Um, I didn't even flip through them. They're already, they've already packaged up half. Some of them have gone and some of them are going tomorrow. There's one in my shop. That's it. Um, and I haven't done a flip through of it, but you know, if it's still there tomorrow, I'll do a flip through. Um, and then I had, I made all of these little books, maybe a little bit smaller than this one to go with them. And I tied them on the front and, um, so I got those finished and then, um, I made some more of the big bundles and, um, so that took a while and I've got those, I've, I've got three, um, one Norma, if you're watching. Um, I messaged you if you would like one. I haven't put yours in the shop. If you don't want it, I'll just put it in my shop. One's already gone, and then there's one in the shop. And then if Norma doesn't want hers, then that will go in the shop as well. Um, and then that'll be it for those because I'm out of the things. Well, I do have some more old letters and things, but um, I'll keep those for another kit for another day. I just need to gather up some more stuff. So um, that's what I've been doing, really rushing around like a chicken without a, a head and um and yeah so that's why i'm in such a mess i'm just tidying up while i'm guest bagging to you guys you have to have a little bit of a guest bag um and so i thought today um i'm you know still working on the envelope thing goodness knows when that'll be finished for heaven's sake why i would start a new project for christmas now i don't know but anyway it doesn't matter just, I mean, I love Christmas. So anyway, I'm just tidying up my mess while I'm talking to you. Okay, so my thought is today, I'm going to revisit an old idea. And I don't even know if I remember how I do it. Because I haven't done one for a really long time. But I'm just, I can't even remember what size paper I start with. I'll grab this piece of paper. This is too big. I could tear a bit off. Let me just see if I've got another piece of paper. I don't want to make it that big. Oh, this book might be good. Then that'll be small. This book. Um, I could do one with that. I could have two pages. I think. Two pages. Let's have a go with that book. I'll do some folding now. I'm revisiting an idea. I've revisited it before and I'm going to revisit it again going to fit in there i brought my i've got my big chomper in here just a sec i've got that near me oh my goodness so um hopefully it's not too dark for you guys because we're not we don't usually do videos this way like, i've literally got to do the video and then i've got to go and cook dinner well i'm not actually not cooking anything it's just salad and piadina and some cheese and stuff like that it's fairly simple so what i'm going to do here if i can find some glue is I'm going to put glue everywhere. And this is one of those things that you would use up your, book, your glue pages for. Just going to make sure I get plenty of glue on there. I'm doing it double because this paper I think is quite brittle. And also um, I want to strengthen it. So I'll just line it up. I probably should have glued it and then cut it. It doesn't matter if it's crooked. Okay, yep. And we'll see so i'm going to fold i'm doing a tri-fold yes this is perfect so this is going to be like this and this is going to fold like that and i'm going to fold this in to the line not quite to the line just above there and this into the line there and this is something that you can send out as happy mail. You can add into a little envelope deal. Um, you can you can um, add it to a journal if you've got a biggish journal. I'm sure those of you who've been following me for a long time will know exactly what I'm up to. No good. Oh, and I need my sewing machine, but I will do it without the sewing machine. So this is my mess there. This is my folding. 
Okay, and that's like that, and that's like that. Now, what we need to do is we need to gather some scrapbooking paper. Now, normally I would do it with my scraps, but I think I've used up a lot of my scraps. I think I'm low on scraps as far as uh, scrap Christmas scrapbooking paper is concerned. Yes, I am quite low. I don't know that I have much here that excites me, that rocks my boat. So I might not... Oh, I do like that, but, you know, I'll lose the... I could have Noel. Um, now, that's not deep enough for there, but I wonder if the Noel would fit there. I could have the Noel there, couldn't I? That's a bit boring. Okay, so I've got some... I brought over some of these because I haven't cut into these yet. Now, someone was asking me about Minty. Minte, Minte, it's called. I don't know if you can see that. M I M I N T A Y, Minte, Minte. It's a Polish brand. I don't know where you buy it. I bought it um, at the shop around the corner. So, um, but I think you can probably buy it on Etsy. Oh, look how many. Oh, I think I must have gotten a pack. Oh, I like that one. So I'm going to, I'm breaking into new, oh, look at those. Oh, look at those. Oh, look at all those yummy fussy cutting things. Oh, I didn't realise I had that. Oh, isn't this fun finding new things? I've got two of each, two of each, two of each. Oh, and then I've got the, oh, I didn't know I had those. That's the pink one. And then I've got this one I could use. Isn't it cute? Okay, so I think we'll use the Minte. Let's see how we go with that. So I've cut a couple of pieces there. Now, so we've done our folds. No measurements. You just do it um, divided into three. And you want, um, you can actually probably don't need to leave that much of a space there. Because this is not an envelope. This is not an envelope. So I've left a tiny space where the fold is. And then I folded that down. Folded in my corners. Didn't even measure anything. Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. Okay doesn't matter right so what I'm trying to remember what do I do with this okay right I put I put scrapbooking paper on the inside is what I do so what I need to do here it's interesting reverse side so I'm getting distracted so I go pay attention so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to put it like that and I'm going to put a little marking if I can see it there and I'm going to get my big cutter. I'm going to do many things, aren't I? I get my big cutter and trim it off where I put my marker. There. Line it up on the bottom. This thing, for some reason, is never... It's not straight, and it makes me cut crooked. Is that straight now? It's a bit straighter. Trim that off. Okay, normally you would use um, scraps, but I've done a good job. Oh, I've chomped up. I've got that. Yeah rip my paper um normally i would use my scraps but i've done a good job as a, a um i need to bring it. i'll use this one oh god They're just you can tell it's late in the day just to, just forgive me just please forgive me right so we're gonna chop that oh about there i've got a marker there just put my eye on it so how is everybody today i know in america it's a very important day um we've been voting it's a boating day, so I hope everybody is happy. Um, and um, I'm having a good day. I've been at home all day, so I'm going to put that there, like so. I'm wondering if I might fold that down. I think I might do that. Oh, I've ripped it. I might do that just to strengthen it because it's very brittle paper, as I said. I'm just going to put glue that down a little bit. Fold it down for safety. I'm going to say we're doing it for safety. And I'll cover that up, you see. Now, what I'm going to do here, now you get your scissors. I mean, not your scissors, your pencil. And draw your line down there like that. It's very easy. And then you get your scissors. Easy peasy. And I just cut just inside my line. Now, I could use my eraser and rub it out, but I just cut on the inside of it very carefully and chop it off. And there we go. I won't be using those. I'll chuck those in the bin. And then I'm going to get slightly bigger. 
Why is this so? I cut on the inside of my line. Well, I'm just going to snip off a little bit more on each side. Is that a problem? A little bit more there. And a little bit more there. And we'll see what happens. That was a teeny tiny bit. That'll do. And so I'm going to glue that in there. Is what I'm going to do. And I've got plenty of glue. I'm wondering, do I want to use a wet glue? No. I'm going to use this glue. I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it afterwards. But as you know, with my new setup, it's not um, feasible to do it on camera. Unless I bring it over here and then you won't be able to see because you'll be right above the top of the sewing machine. So that's going to glue there. And when I do so, I'll stitch around there like that. That's what I'll be doing. Okay, so that's that. Then here, we don't need anything too flashy. So let me just see if I have anything else that could go with my Minte. Um, it's not big enough. Could do, because it's just going to be tucked behind. You know, I really have done a doozy. I've really done a doozy and used up all of my papers. I really have. So what I'm going to do, oh look, that's nearly okay. So I'm just going to get my chomper up again. What's on the other side of the pink one? I never asked myself. No, it's not. I don't find that so exciting, the reverse side. I'm just going to chop off the writing there. Let me see here. Yes, that'll be good. I'll chop off a little bit more, as you do. It's a little bit narrow for my purposes, but it's not the end of the world. This is just to strengthen um, the background, and I need to just cut it on the inside of that line. Okay, and so that's going to glue there. But while I'm here, I'm going to measure this one as well, because I'm going to put something here as well. And now let me think here. I'm just going to put a marker and reduce it down so then I can use my smaller chopper. I'll get this big thing off my table, off the table. Off you go. And we'll bring up the little one. Okay, so let me just see. This is my fold here yes that's my fold there so that's going to glue there so let's glue that down you should be used to these bodgy videos by now anyway with me all over the place all over the place And then I will stitch around that um, as well. And then we're going to have here a pocket. Now, I will be, I think I'm going to trim this down a little bit further. I love this type of measuring. I don't like the type of measuring when you have to get your ruler out. I don't enjoy that. It takes the fun out of it. Now, what I'm going to do is just trim down just a tiny bit more because I'm going to make that a pocket and I think I'm going to like the, you've got two options you can make your pocket open on that side or that side I think I'll make it open on this side Will I? no I think I'll open it on that side but then it's hard to get into I think I'll open it on that side yeah that's what I'll do so that folds there so you don't want it to have, be, be right on the fold so you've got a little gap there, right. And I'm gonna put a little snip there. And that will be glued down, but I'm just thinking I might put something there just to strengthen that. And I'm just gonna think, isn't this pretty? I love this paper. Good thing I pulled it out. So I wanna put something there because this is um, the edge of the book page. 
and just have to find something to go there. And I'm not going to put cardstock. Um, I don't know if that goes. I'm just looking at my scraps. What's that? That'll be fine. It just needs to pop in there right to that edge, I think. Now I've just cut the white off. Not that you can see it, but just in case. And we'll get some glue on there and stick that in. I want to line this up up there. So that's nice and strong now. It, all be, it will all be stitched around. I'm going to grab the um, Tombow glue. And go around my three edges. Now, you could put uh, a little journal in here if you wanted to, like put pages in. What I normally do is make it a notebook. Or you could do both. If you were to put a book, you know, put some page, stitch some pages in there, I would, um, you'd have to strengthen that bit there. And I will stitch around here, I'll stitch around all of that, I'll stitch around all of this, and I'll stitch around all of that, just so you know. Isn't it pretty? And then we need to get some, just some random papers. So I, I quite like this paper. And I'm just got, I don't have my ruler. I don't have my ruler, it's in the other room. Okay, well, I'm going to fold it. What will happen if I tear it? Will it tear the way I want it to? It will. So that's nice paper. And this will be my template for other pieces of paper. So if you had lots and lots of scraps of paper, let me just hop up and see what else I have. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I am here. I'm just looking to see what I have. So I'll get some, you get some of this paper. You know, what's it called? Tea dyed paper. I haven't got my straight ruler here. I'll have to use this one. bit so that 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 um, what's in here here's a piece of oh the dogs are going Um, and then we can have, can I really have any type of page? Here we've got some old book page. We can have just some plain old book page. You can even have them different heights and widths.
So this is a good way to use up those scraps, those scrappy-doos that are everywhere. Oh, here we go. We can put this in there. And you could rip them out and just use them. It's a bit of packaging. I've got that piece there. Okay, so that might be enough. And then what you would do, which I won't be able to do now because I haven't got my sewing machine set up, but organise your pages like so. Mix them up so they're all different, different widths, different heights. And then you put this one maybe at the front. Just go like that so they're the same. And then they will go here. And I'll trim off anything that's too long. So you put them there. See, that's why I didn't mind too much that this was a different type of paper because um, it's, um, you're not going to be able to see it. And then just for the moment, I'm just going to grab a clip like so. So you won't see the stitching part. I'll just trim that off because it's too long. And then this will close up. That'll be stitched across there. And what I might do is I might um, grab something like this. And that will... Oh, that cut too much. That over there. And that will stitch across there so it's pretty. And you've got a little notepad with a pocket here. And now we've got to decorate here. So I'm going to remove my pages. So pretending that those are stitched there. I mean, you don't have to put pages. You could put a pocket here. As I said, you could put, um, you know, you could stitch in a little signature here and have like a little journal inside. It would be cute, really cute little thing to send off to someone. Um, so now we've got to think about here and we've got to do a little bit of decoration here. So I can move away. So on the back, for example, we could put this. I haven't done this before. I think I might put a pocket on the back. I think I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put a pocket. So let's just put the pencil mark there and trim that off. Pat it down, just make sure it's straight. Yes, it looks straight to me. And I'll put my little snip there. So that's going to be my pocket, but I'm going to do a bit more. Here. That's what's going to happen on the back. little pocket. So let's have a look here. Remove these out of the way. I've got lots of scraps to play with. So for example, no that doesn't go. So that doesn't really go. If I put that pocket there, it doesn't really go. It's stuck everywhere. make that into a little journal card and that can slip into the pocket. I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't finished decorating it and I'm thinking about, in you know, things to go in it. So choose, choose a book page. See, that will go in there. So choose a book page that you kind of like in the sense that um, you're not going to cover it all. I'm not covering it all up. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to cover it all up. Except for bits of it. So I think I'll put that there. So you will have bits of it peeking out. Is that's what That's what I'm saying. That's quite nice paper. I think I'll keep that. Very simple. So we'll go there. I must make more of these. I like making these. I'd forgotten about them. I 
And of course the possibilities are endless. Like you could put a paper bag inside rather than a little notepad and then put a little notepad in the paper bag. You can do all kinds of things. You don't have to do what I did. This is just one way. And then, okay, so then we've got to look at the front. And that will go on the back. All right. So I will have a bit of this paper just to carry on my theme. Put that there. I need a new gluey thing. So that's that. And then what else would I like? I don't think I want that. Ooh. Here's a little bit of script on newsprint. I might like that. Well, that wasn't very good tearing. Not very good tearing at all. I've changed. I have to change my mind now. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. This kind of colour will go with the minty. Yep, that's it. it over a little bit and I'll just trim that piece off okay now mm -hmm. I think that is going to be very pretty there so Let's see. I'll tear it there. Okay, I need to tear some off the bottom. upside down. Hello. There we go. That's going to go there. You could even put a little belly band on there instead of this, like do a little bit of collage and put a belly band and then um, have a, a, journal, a tag in there. So that's that. Then we've got that. Now we have to put a focal point here. Earlier today I had a piece of holly and I don't know where it is. Oh, what about those minty ones? Where are they? these wonderful things just looking for something that would be a good size Santa's too big because otherwise I'd love Santa there um, I did like this little There's the teapot.
Oh, that's the cover. Okay. I was going to say. Yes, I must have bought a pack to have all these pages. I bought them last year, so I don't even remember. Let's see, does that fit? I prefer this one, maybe. And of course, these don't, oh, that's cute. They don't have to be Christmassy at all. Oh, now, where did they go? Oh, I have these. I wonder if any of these. I could use a bit of this. Or this one. I think that's a bit dark, that one. Or maybe I'll use this one. Let's see. We want a little bit of um, cheesecloth on there. No, I think I like it more without. Put that there. Where did I put it? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Have it on the back there. And then it covers up that beautiful, I love the colours, that holly and stuff. So no. Then here, what I like to do is, let me see if I can find it, something appropriate. Um, I like to put a little piece of lace. Can't be too big, that's too big. I think I've got smaller laces, not in that one. Yes, I do. Oh, that lace, that's one of my favourite laces. What's that? Oh, that's a bird. Don't want a bird. Then we need to go into this one or the other one. See, now I have all these things near me, so it's wonderful. Because before I had them up on the shelf and I had to... No, it's not that one. Of course it's the one on the bottom. Of course it is. Of course it is. Love this. This is one of my faves. Yep, that's it. Or was it that one? No, not that one. The other one. Okay, good. So, or the other choice would be you could have some of this. I've just got this. Oh, the light's gone. It's very bad lighting. Sorry, guys. Please be Okay, or you can have something like that. Obviously, those colours don't go, but these colours would be good. But I'm not going to have those. I'm going to put the lace. So I'll stop being distracted and put the lace there, and I have it, cut it about there. Yep, I'm going to glue that there. I'm going to grab my, better give it a shake. I haven't used it for a few days. My PVA. Oh, of course, it's blocked. It is blocketh. Okay.
I'm going to stitch across there so I'm not too worried about it and that is that that flips up like that okay let me just have a think here and then sometimes I put a tie around it like some baker's twine but um, you can just leave them like that you could stitch a bit of baker's twine here when you stitch across and then it will wrap around you could glue a little bit on the back although I've got my pocket here so it would have to go there but it'd be annoying um, you could have put it under the paper um, but in this case I don't think it necessarily needs it but I do feel like um, I'd like if wish, I wish that I had little words I'd like some little words these are big words anyway you get the idea so basically I'll take it over to my sewing machine now and I will have where's my piece of lace gone here so this will slide onto here this will be stitched in there with this lace across the top I just zigzag it so that'll stitch in there here you've got a pocket so you can put something in there and I feel like it's easier to get things in and out rather than having the opening there I think I originally made them with the opening there you could have like a um, sort of labelly sort of thing here like not airmail but you know something like that fun in there if you wanted to um, so that'll all be stitched in um, and then it just closes like that and that and then I was going to put that pink one I put in here just to show you in here we might do another version we might do the the idea of the journal version and that's going to go in there I just put some fun things on it and have that pocket oh there we go that will slide in there you see just fits look at that isn't that cute so that's the front like that styles and then that goes in there and then you stitch across the top there and voila you have a cute little trifold folder made with book page and I think that's cute and a little pocket on the back so we're going to do some more of these because these are really fun um, but that is it for today and I will see you again tomorrow thank you for watching bye